I'm Leslie Richardson, and joining me is Brandon Minnick. So, Brandon, uh, I heard that there's this cool feature in C Sharp called Immutable Collections. Can you tell me more about those? Yeah. So, first of all, I love Immutable Collections because anytime I pull data from an API or a database and say it's, it's a list of objects or even just a list of ints, I want that data to always represent the API or always rep the, represent the database. So I don't want that data to change. And there's this whole cool namespace in C Sharp that we can use. So let's let's jump into some code here and check out what we're talking about. So we have a, a simple app, some quick and dirty code where I'm initializing a list, but then down here in the main method, I'm completely changing everything, right? I am reinitializing the list, I'm changing the value at index zero to be negative one. I'm adding a new value to it. I'm removing an existing value. And this is completely changing the list. So now this data, if this came from an API, no longer represents the data that lives in that API. If it came from a database, no longer represents the database. So Leslie, what, yeah, what can we do to prevent future me from changing all this data? Have you tried to read only? Ooh, yeah, actually, that's a really good one to start with because read only means that we can initialize a value and initialize it once. So when we create this field number list and we pass in a value, we can no longer change it. So we get red squiggles down here thanks to using the read only keyword. And this is great, but you can see we're still able to change the value at index zero and add and remove. So this is actually where the immutable collections come into play because there's a cool thing we can do to say to immutable. And if we zoom in here, there's all these different immutable types that are baked into C sharp. So immutable arrays, dictionaries, hash sets. So we're just going to do to immutable list and then we'll change this type here. So we stop getting those red squiggles and now check this out. No longer can we change the value that are in the list. So, if I want to change value of uh, index zero, can't do it because we're an immutable list. So that's great. We're in the clear, right? We're getting closer because you'll notice we can still add and remove. And mm. those are, so the values we added to this list, they can't be changed. They can't be modified, but we can still add and remove. And really it's, it's the remove that scares me because if I pull data from a database and then I can remove something from that list. Well, again, it no longer represents the data in my database. So there's one more cool thing we can do, and that is I read only list. And now there it are, there they are, the red squiggles awesome. so with I read only list. Now that data is pure. It'll always represent the data that came from my database or my API. And with I read only list, we can do some cool things because we don't actually need to say too immutable to initialize an I read only list. Heck, we don't even need to say new list. We can even initialize it as an array if we want to. Mm -hmm. And the other cool things, since we have the dictionary here, um, yeah, there's also all of these apply to dictionaries as well. So if we want to say a immutable dictionary, we could say immutable dictionary. Uh, well, there's all sorts of immutable lists, sorted dictionaries, um, but there's also I read only dictionary as well. So all these types exist. They're really good for making sure our data stays pure, that it always represents the values of where it came from, whether it be an API or a database. And so highly recommend read-only lists, immutable lists. Check them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. I'm speechless. <laughs> like, uh, it's one of the only times where I'm excited to see those red squiggly lines of doom. And uh, yeah, and I can't wait to try out immutable collections for myself. So if you're excited to try them out too, and you want to learn more, definitely go check out the docs below. Mm -hmm.